So that is what it looks like. Well, what temperature? A uh, temperature. What time it is? So, twelve forty p.m. And the sun basically is over my right shoulder. So that indirect light is what it gets most of the day. So what's this going on? Almost day four. Well, actually, it'd be about day four right now. I'd have to look at the actual time st stamping on the first video I did. Okay, so and that's without the phone light on. The heck is that floating up? Huh. I'm not smoking a cigarette, so it just seemed like maybe it was a particle. So, and that one's actually, strangely enough, it's like kind of perking back to life. It's instead of dying off. And these are doing doing just phenomenal. So yeah, I don't see any kind of shock or stunt of growth from them. And this one was basically closed. It was pretty close to this. And it's actually started to open more. This one's opened a lot more and this is basically the last that was on the vine just before the snowfall and it's more of a bush but it grows like a vine and this is just a different rose bush and I, as far as I know they're roses or whatever a categorized as so I could probably zoom in and get a view of two of those okay, try not to drop the phone okay so that's just how I cut them two off so the first day I just cut them and threw them in there and then day two, I ripped off the leaves. Ah, whatever. It wasn't the phone, so. So basically, do is that stem there? No, that's a stem over there. So like right there is the last leaf petal I did not pull off. The rest of them below that. I pulled off and the only indicator of where they got pulled off is basically that biggest sharpest spike so like there's another spot right there another one right there at least on one side These ones over here, well, my view and the phone view is quite different. So that one got cut, and then on the other end, this guy slightly uh, stripped it off accidentally on the skin on one on that bottom side. And that was the other thing is after they were in there for a day, after I stripped the leaves, um, I didn't touch that bottom one because it actually started was already starting to branch out right there. So I just kind of see what it does on its own. And basically the same thing. Took off like three or four leaves from the stem. 
It's like a little bit of a rust going on on type, top side of the bolt. Shouldn't hurt anything, it's just iron. The black, I don't know what the heck the black is. It, it's probably uh, black rubber breaking down. Could be uh, black rust coming off of the float arm. Oh, this doesn't want to... This phone's having more and more problems trying to automatically focus. So anyway, I thought these food thermometers actually were supposed to float. But I thought that was a trick to uh, knowing whether or not they were good or bad, but kind of hard to find a spot. To secure it. On the side of the tank and it's like, uh, it's about an inch, two inches, probably an inch into the water. It just tells me it's about 40. Forty two maybe. Okay, looks like it's gonna balance there for a little bit. But yeah, surprising for day four how well they did or are doing. And then it gets used at least once a day. So when it gets flushed, it cycles out that water. And that was one thing that uh, I think I read in the paper, Grand Junction uh, Daily Sentinel, that um, a local farmer had developed a uh, basically a fish um, reservoir type setup that uh, lettuce was able to just basically float. Uh, on top of the water and it thrived that way just by watering and uh, photosynthesis and its nutrition basically was what the uh, fish gave off as a natural byproduct okay and I adjusted the setting on the phone to its brightest so and that's pretty comfortable like I don't feel I can even cross my finger over and force it. I don't feel it digging in. I gotta really try to make it that one dig in. But if it's real nice and comfortable. So I caught it just a little bit with the grinder there. And it's pretty strong, so it's gotta be, I'm assuming brass or bronze, a copper and brass mix. <clears throat> okay, so, so I can get a good shot at it or not. This phone's not likely to focus right, so I have to try this a couple times. Each time it's gonna take away the brightness. There we go. I can't see what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, so it's like right at the second pinhole. <clears throat> that second pinhole basically is where it's got to curve, start to curve up, and slightly come in so it doesn't dig in. I lost 
one stone on the first attempt. But I'm using a wheel grinder when I do it, not like a hand file, so it takes it off pretty rapidly. I got a little too close to that first one. And the same thing, it's a little bit harder. I've got to do it on the side of the wheel, like the corner of the wheel to get that edge. Basically, same thing on that, just slightly rounding it. So just a little bit thicker because there's, uh, maybe you can, but there's not really much room to get any kind of a, a trade stamp, uh, I mean, um, a trademark seal, like anywhere on there. But I don't know what the modern technology is on how how fine a laser can do it. I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely awesome, fits perfect. Refocus here again, there we go. I'll change the brightness quite a bit, All right about there. No, lock. <laughs> okay, now it's locked. So yeah, awesome, and that's basically the only finger it fits on correctly, without squeezing it more. I'll fit on that that one fairly decent, but on the edge, I'm bound to catch something. It's tighter on that one, but I can still move it around, and it. Kind of scrapes, but it doesn't dig in. It doesn't cut. Like I feel the second. Wow. Okay, now that's pretty tight. So when it gets that tight. The second row there is what starts digging in. So they may need to be slightly rounded too. But yeah, it's definitely a great design and just needs a little bit more detail changed and touched up and be ready for a a trademark seal stamp and even if you wanted to do just TS or whatever I mean that wouldn't be too hard to um, stamp you know partially on top of each other I'm sure some craftsmen can pull it off I'd go with TA, TAS if you pull it off because it'd just be a little bit more defined Yeah, beautiful. Came out awesome.